What's going on? It's your boy Webb back again with another reaction video. Today we're gonna check out How Not to Be a Simp compilation number five, man. It's very important. Now I haven't seen any type of compilations like this. I have done reactions to the Big Tail compilation. So let's find out how not to be a simp in this video. Make sure that if you're new to the channel that you like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and I'm aiming to hit that goal by the end of the summer. So sometime around September. It's a crazy goal. It's a big goal, but it's my goal and we're going to stick damn to it. Make sure that you share the video. You know, the homies. Let, let the homies know. Like, hey, we, we doing reactions out here. We, you know, watching some fun stuff over here so let everybody know other than that let's hop right into the damn video that rhyme don't hate the player hate the game hi i'm isaac norman founder and ceo of the nsa which stands for the no simping allowed corporation i wanted to tell you that simping is bad and it can harm others including yourself you want to know if you're a simp or not if you've been stalking a girl on social media trying to get her attention you've been simping if a girl has been actively trying to get away from you, <laughs> you've been simping. So stop it. Get some help. Don't be a simp. Take a break from social media. Think about something else. Boy, we gotta stop that right there. First of all, for some girl thinking that she could put, I don't know, some of the little some of y'all little freak dudes out here like girls to put you know their hands on you and to choke you out and shit that ain't me man and some girl thinks she could put her hands on me try to choke me hell no i'm like shit that damn pimp hand you see the pinky ring you see the damn pinky ring the damn pimp hand gonna come out man ain't no put no damn hands on me first of all huggins i'm 27 and i'm from milton Keynes. hi i'm jj i'm 26 and uh if I could rate you out of 10, I wouldn't because all women are beautiful and shouldn't be rated by misogynistic men. You are butters though. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, you almost had So I think you're very attractive. Thank you. And I wanted to ask you if you're single. I am single. You are single? Yes. Why is that? Because uh, I'm just focusing on work right now. So you wouldn't have time to put a lady in your life? Uh, not the way I would want to. Make sure I actually did a reaction or like a commentary on this same specific video right here. Make sure that you go down below and try to find it. Honestly, I totally forgot what the title is, but I'll link it into the description of this video. Make sure you go watch this video because it's very interesting. I just love how all my thoughts are in that video down below but just a quick synopsis i just love how this chick thinks like oh you know i'm entitled to somebody who's good you know we're I'm, we're just we're just human beings at the end of the day we ain't entitled to shit we're just like a, a damn lion in the wilderness like whether we go out and get the prey that's up to us we're not entitled to shit but in the video she's very she thinks like oh yeah he's single and this and that and I, I guess she has a youtube channel but I just love how she's sticking the ca the camera in the dude's face and asking him all these questions and shit. But yeah, make sure you watch this video. I did a reaction to this specific video. The link will be down in the description. Let's continue. What's that way? What's the way you want to? Uh, I would want to be able to make her a priority. I don't think I can do that right now. So you're not scared of like missing out on the right girl? Let's say you meet me today and you think I'm the right girl. Head ass. You're not gonna talk to me because you don't have really a lot of time like to leave me. So you're not gonna talk to me at all. Well, if you're the right girl, but I treat you wrong because I don't necessarily have the time to devote to you that I wanted to, <laughs> then I don't think I would do either of us a good service. That sounds really good. I'm sure you could have won that game tonight. Uh, thank you very much, and I thank Almighty God who is above. I always wish to win one of these and, and, and I got it. My girlfriend, so, my wife. Thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm so I'm so sorry, my wife. Lizzo, I love you so much. Aya, I love you so much from my heart. Ne? So must keep on supporting me. Eh? Just trying to grab some food every time. So oh I'm shit. Up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's the big dog, Mr. Organic Man. I actually found him like maybe couple weeks ago hey man it's all about peace prosperity 
positively positivity I don't know. I don't remember the rest. But anyway, Mr. Organic's that dude. You got to bring something to this table. Like, fucking pussy is over with after a certain time. Like, we could, I could fuck any bitch I ever wanted in my life. I always have. That's not appealing to me no more. You know what I mean? Once you get money and once you was already having that, you got to bring more. Your energy got to be right. Your mind got to be right. That body don't mean nothing after a while. You know what I'm saying? A nigga will fuck anything, man. <laughs> so, like, you could be the bad. baddest bitch in the world. That's yeah. fine. Nigga gonna have you, and I'm gonna fuck a bitch, a two and a three. A nigga will do that. Yeah. Happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z had Beyonce, he still fuck some other pussy. How can you beat that? Because <laughs> he would just want some new pussy on his cock. So that ain't nothing, man. It's your energy, it's your mind, what you bringing to help me grow. That was gonna help us grow. That what counts. Yeah, preach, brother. Yeah. Preach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. support so you. you'll take a basic bitch that is somebody that you want to talk to over a bad bitch that will inspire you. So you consider yourself a bad bitch? No, yeah, I do, actually. So you above basic. Well, you don't even work. You don't have no attributes mm -hmm. to the table here. Like, what I are we do talking have about? attributes. I'm like a, what? I'm a, I'm, I inspire my men. How? You don't got no job. You got what's your education? <laughs> what? Yo, yo, yo. Okay, I'll stop it right there. If you guys got to see that video, man. It's on the Fresh and Fit podcast. I came across their channel probably, yeah, probably like a couple months ago. It got some good content over there, man. But, man, that, that girl is tripping. I, I got to do a video on that alone, like straight up. But, first of all, I ain't, I ain't trying to... The only thing that motivated me is my happiness. That's first and foremost. When I bring children into this world, that's also motivation for me. But ain't no girl gonna motivate me for shit. She oh, just looking sexy all the time. That that's 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 the bare minimum. You better be looking sexy all the time. But that ain't no motivation and inspiration for me to get my ass up and work every day. Nah. My happiness comes first. Happiness of my kids and the you know the successful and just the the wealth of my family and kids that's that's next after me but ain't no girl hell no ain't no simp out here in the hell. What you doing? You hear me? Yeah. Hey stop. Hey stop. Yeah. <laughs> hey stop. What the? What are you guys doing, though? Hello. Hello. Can you come and collect your food? Um, yeah, but can you come and bring it up? No, I can't. Can you come and collect it, please? No, I need you to bring it up, please, because it's cold. COVID guidelines. COVID guidelines. I can't come. COVID guidelines. Yeah, but I'm cold, though. Everyone's been putting it up what? there. I'm cold. Everyone's been putting my food upstairs. I don't care. I'm not everyone. I'm Deliveroo. Yeah, but some delivery as well, darling. You're no different. Look at the way she's sounding, You're man. She's a, the darling. She's sounding so damn pompous. Uh, man, I mean, there's just those people out there in this world. See, I'm a type of person who I'm, I'm very like, I guess you can call it egotistic. I guess you can call it narcissistic. I'm, I'm a person like that. But at the end of the day, I want to do everything for myself because I know if I do it for myself, it's going to be done the right way. You know, when you put especially important things into other people's hands, there's just no telling if they're going to do it the way you want it done. So I love to do things by myself. But this 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 chick, that's what I'm saying. A lot of you girls out there are entitled and just understand it. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, there's something you can do about it. You can stop being so damn entitled and actually do shit for yourself and understand like, yeah, I, I do got privilege out here. I need to start, you know, making it work, but, you know, making it work out not just trying to take advantage of people but this is ridiculous man different darling i need my food upstairs please my darling I need my food upstairs no because i need my food upstairs i ordered it i'm not going up i'm not going downstairs darling no i'm not going downstairs no but bring bring my food up what's wrong with you man come on collect it you've got your stomach kebab and your yeah, yeah, nuggets. Please come Shit, I yeah, but I told up you to her. that I, I'm hey. cold. You are the delivery driver, then. Stupid man. Yeah, go on. No way. No way. Yeah, is this real? Oh, um, shit. You motherfucker. This, this ain't real. Oh, yeah? Wow. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you a fool? 
This can't be real. You dirty I will come downstairs to beat your ass up. I will come get you in a minute. Was that real? Somebody let me know if that was real. Got him. Whoa. What's wrong with you? Something's wrong with you, obviously. Why? Because of what just happened. What happened? You know what happened. What's wrong with you? This is what you want? This is what you want? Well, you always go. <laughs> How many children do you have? Uh, 84. 84? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 70 wife, my own. 17 wives. Yes. Mm. That's a lot of wives. Yeah. I have one wife, which is in one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he can understand you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh... Word, I love you guys. Um, yeah, you know what it is. And I want to thank everybody here. Uh, Fight Ready, my teammates. Uh, Henry, everybody that believes in me, my wife, my girlfriend, my wife, my girlfriend. たかなしくんて本当に彼女いないの。悪いけど、石野さんは全然好みじゃない。そんなに即答しなくていいじゃないよ。ごめん、つい。参考までに私どこがグッと来ない is I think men should carry my stuff and I think men should open the door for me. Listen, y'all better not be carrying nobody's bag. Listen, carrying a woman's bag is feminizing you. I don't give a fuck. You don't do it. What you look like as a grown ass man carrying a purse. She's asked you to can you hold my purse for a second? Put it right put it right there on that rack or put it on the floor. I'm not carrying your purse. I don't give a fuck if it's a Birkin. I don't give a fuck if she paid twenty thousand dollars for the bag. We don't hold bags. Absolutely not. And you opening the door before you go into the building, okay, cool. You go open the door for it. That ain't the bigger deal. I don't. We don't open car doors. You, what's wrong with your hands? Your hands are perfectly fine. Don't don't be excessive in that shit. Like if you going through the door before, you hold the door as if you would hold the door for another dude. It don't matter. Plain and simple, right? The only gender role in here that you should be doing is the same one since the beginning of time. <laughs> women's roles has only changed, and then only in egalitarian societies. And that's to provide and protect, as a man should be. The only roles that really change is women because society is changing. That's all. And only... I always thought it was interesting, to to, to say the least, uh, the whole situation of, like, carrying your girl's bag and shit. Because the way that I see it, if I got my valuables in there, like most girls do, you know, they got their wallet, they got all... All the little valuable shit that they want, their makeup or whatever the case may be. They got it all in their their purse. And especially if it's like, okay, you got a little Gucci purse, a little Louis, Louis bag, a Birkin, you know, Goyard, whatever the case may be. Why? First of all, why would you want to give that to somebody else? Even if it is your man or whatever, why, why would you? I, I just, I'm not understanding that because all my valuable shit is in there. And then for one, and then for two, it's just like... Why would I want to give it to my man so he could be walking around with a damn purse? It just never made sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. Like, at the end of the day, it's just like that privilege. It's just like, oh, you're going to do this for me and you're not going to have anything to say about it. Because if you have anything to say about it, then you ain't getting this from me or you ain't getting that from me. Just the whole privilege thing because I, I, I'm not understanding it. And most of I, I know that most of the time it's girls who really feel like they're entitled to it. That, that's, those are the type of girls that do that. It's like the girls that are entitled. Like, oh, yeah, you should be doing this for me. You should be carrying my bag. And, oh, we do this. Nah, 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 I mean, not with me. I mean, there has to be some type of respect. But I don't know. I never had to deal with that situation. But I've always seen it from friends and just different situations. I've always seen that. No, I've never, never, no girl's ever told me to hold her damn bag. And if she did, I'd be like, why can't you hold it i mean isn't this what you hold like 90 percent of the time when you go out anywhere you already have a purse like are you not used to carrying that already i don't know it's ridiculous but anyway let me know what you guys thought about the video down below make sure that if you're new to to subscribe to the damn channel make sure you like and comment and share the video share it around with all the cool people man all the homies man all the home girls only the cool people don't not none of those weird band kids or 
shit those little weird freaky anime kids i mean shit we love everybody hey if you're a weird freaky anime kid or you into band hey you can subscribe to the channel too but i don't know some of y'all are freaky if you want to get in touch with me to do a reaction to a specific type of video or you need some type of advice or a comment on a video hit me up at the donwood speaks at gmail.com that's where you can find me other than that it's your boy web hoping that i'm not taken advantage by some simple girl out here man peace <laughs>